Hi, it's James Harrison. It's New Lesson Day. Uh, today I'm going to give you a, uh, a quasi-Latin type beat that's great for beginners because there's so many things you can do with it. Uh, truth be told, I kind of stole this beat or got this beat from a book by Steve Houghton. I think it was called Studio Big Band Drumming. Um, it's quite a while ago. Um, and I'll, I'll uh, write the beat out and put it in the, uh, the comments, at least on Facebook. So, um, basically, it's a great, easy pattern that you can get a lot of mileage out of for uh, youngsters. I do this with a lot of my uh, junior high and high school students when their uh, independence isn't at a level where they can do a lot of uh, authentic-oriented uh, Latin, Samba, Brazilian, Cuban type things. But this one is a great beat that's easy to deal with. So, it's a... Uh, even though I'm going to think of it as one e and a two e and a three e and a four e and a and sixteenth notes, it's really just two beats. Beat one and three are the same. Beats two and four are the same. So really, it's two, you know, beat one and two, and then it repeats itself on beat three and four. And it's very similar to a soca. But uh, what I'm going to do right now, so I can talk over top of it, I'm going to play a cross stick, and I'm going to play on the rim, and I'm going to play the pattern slow. Just the right hand is doing this. One and two E, a three and four E. One and two E, a three and four E. The left hand is playing the a uh of one and the and of two, the a uh of three and the and of four. Again, if you don't know how to count or don't read music, just use your ears and try to pick it up very slowly. One and a two E, a three and. So there's a basic pattern. So um, there's so many things you can do with it. In the book by Steve Hout, it's just written out um, with, uh, I can't remember if it's a symbol or the hi-hat. I'll play it on the hi-hat, just the hands. That's it. There's not much to it. I'll play it again slowly. I'm going to put my right hand on the cowbell this time. Just by my moving my hands to a cowbell or a cymbal bell, it does give it more of a Latin flavor. Now, I'm just going to put a bass drum on beat one and beat three. So there's the basic pattern. Now that doesn't sound super Latin-y, I guess. Uh, I could also put a bass drum on all four quarter notes. One, two, three, four. Again, not super Latin oriented, but it does work. I'll put it on the bell of the cymbal. And what I'm going to do now, uh, just because I, I like doing it, I'm going to put the bass drum on one, two, three, four, the quarter notes, and the hi hat on the eighth notes, on the upbeats. Okay, that's a pretty simple beat to do. It, it leans toward a Latin thing, although it's not very Latin yet. Uh, you notice I'm not playing the bass drum, <clears throat> excuse me, super, <clears throat> sorry, super heavy. I'm trying to think uh, less rock and more, more Latin. So what you could do with that is, let's put our hand, our left hand as a cross stick, and on the end of four, let's hit a tom. So it'd be like this. So 
just by doing that, we're leaning more in that Latin vein. If I if I do the. getting more in that Latin flavor. Now this is a very easy beat to play fast. Something I did there at the very end, on the and a two, I can hit the tom as well, and then maybe go to a lower tom. I'll do the two upper toms. creates all kinds of different things. Something else I have students do is to, on the end of four, play and, hit the tom twice. That works well too. You could do the end of two once, the end of four twice. I'd... So what this beat does is it gives you the ability to play and move your hands around and create all kinds of things. Very simple. Now, if I wanted to make that a little bit more interesting, I could play, uh, I hate to say the term generic, but the most common samba where I'm playing the 16th notes. One E and two E and two. And I'll put the hi-hat on the upbeat. So instead of this, Pretty interesting Latin beat if you can play it fast enough. Another thing you can do is steal a page out of Steve Gadd's book and play the pattern and go from the high tom to the low tom or the low tom to the high tom. I'll start on the low. So there, I, I change it to a psalm at the end. It's up to you. You can add more notes in, you can move it around, you can create all kinds of cool patterns. Another thing you can do with this is play it uh, kind of in a Cuban vein and actually put the hand part of the left hand on the bass drum and just play the hi-hat with the right hand. Um, another thing you can do is you can play it on the snare instead of a uh, cross stick and move the accents in different ways. Very end when you add that left hand on the double, you're 
going to have a note that lines up. If you have a problem with that, you can go and leave that, leave that hand off for a second. And again, it goes in so many ways. Uh, you could play the and put the right hand back on the hi-hat. So out of one simple beat, you get a lot of my mileage. Uh, so the thing for me is the right hand pattern is one and two. So I prefer doing it on a cymbal bell most of the time. But the basic pattern, one and a two E and a three and a four E. Try it with a bass drum doing a one and three. around the kit and have a lot of fun. Great easy pattern, great easy Latin beat. 